Okay, good. Well, since I do have a free round, I'm going to use this opportunity to use some of, some of these magic potions. And believe it or not, I'm actually going to give them to my healers. Because they need, they need the healing abilities. And I have a lot of magic potions. And I can buy some later if I need to. Alright, cool. Now, this is just such a challenging fight. I just can't get over how tough this is. Okay. So, uh, tier 3. And let loose with me. Boom. Good shot. Yeah, alright! Whew, got him. Nice job, everybody. Here comes Borgen. We couldn't catch up in time. Oh, Dion, get a hold of yourself. He you saved our lives. Is he going to be okay? Probably not. Oh, man. we got to defeat Zager at Mount Gott. The giant ocean hole. Okay, what's the... I don't get it. What's the plan? Okay, one of the trap holes in the castle leads to Zager. Let's go. And now we get Borgen on our team. And we get the sore unit. All right, let me take a second and heal up and be right back. All right, we've made it back out. Now, the barrier machine has been destroyed, so we can now call the towel on. All right, awesome. Now, there's a few things we want to do here before we keep on going. First thing is, we definitely need to get a heal up. So I'll go over here and do that. Whew, much needed. Okay, now you remember earlier that I purchased some of that equipment into the underworld. Underworld, excuse me. Now I'm going to put that to use. So notice Borgen's current stats. You know, he's... He's a pretty beefed up character, there's no doubt about it. But if you go to his equipment, you'll find out that he's missing a lot of stuff. A helm, a shield, the gloves and shoes, and some other stuff as well. You can actually equip some weapons and armor on him. Now, be careful, you can only uh, equip it one time because then it doesn't let you do it. Because it, there's kind of a bug in the game, I guess. I don't know. But we might as well equip him with some stuff since we can. So we bought the best helmet in the game, the Hecate Helm, so let's give that to him. Major boost to his defense and brings his magic up to 99. Absolutely. Good call. Okay, we've got some shoes for him too. The Hermes shoes. Boost his agility and uh, his defense up to 99. Now we just need to get him some gloves, a shield, and um, a, uh, an other thing as well. Okay, we'll get that. Let's get that from him right now. No, I don't have that. But I'm going to buy a power gloves and a samurai shield. Why not? Best shield that we can purchase, so let's put that on Borgen now. Sweet. Now, although it doesn't increase his defense, it gives him protection against stone. Or, I'm sorry, uh, mute, which is going to be good for him. Okay. Now, gloves give him the power gloves, boost his attack. Why not? Okay. Awesome. Now, you may remember that we found a couple of weapons down there, so let's uh, get Massa to do something with that. And we've got the Maz Moon. All right. Now, in order for us to do the second thing, we have to leave and talk to him again. And you remember how we got the uh, the emblem, the katana, and the crystal? Well, he can take those three parts and turn them into the emperor sword. So we're definitely going to want to use that. Now, we are going to want to equip these in a different order. Now, the Durand is the weakest of the four swords. The Mazmoon is the second strongest. So we're going to put that on Sharon. since she's going to be one of our main attackers. Uh, Curtis is our next strongest attacker, so now we're going to keep the wall staff on for now, but when we need to use the Mystic Swords, we're going to give him the Emperor Sword, and we're going to give Gloria the Duren Sword, so. Alright, I think that's all we can do for equipment. So let's attach the new units. Now, check this out. Whoops. Now, I would definitely want to change up the engine and put on the sword unit. So not only can I go really, really, really fast, oh, and set your weapon to E-Ray, too, because it's really strong, but I can now cross over all terrain. Before I couldn't get over these mountains, and now I can't. But look how fast I can go. That's awesome. Now, there's a couple more caves that we can find, so let's go disembark and see what's in these caves. All right. You may recognize the layout of these caves. They're exactly the same as the ones that we found earlier in the game. So, now we get another fire crystal. Now, if you want to make another flare magic, you can. But, okay, some new enemies here. We got the Hustler. Liz King, which we met earlier, and the Warlock, which we met in the cave before. But let's put some of this new magic to use. Kind of see what Borgen can do here. Look at this. He's got White. He's got Magma. Uh, Fatal, if we need that. Light Lightning X, which can be powerful. Um, all kinds of awesome magic. But we're going to just stick with White. Wow. 
Wow. And he has really high speed, too. So, boom. Combine that with Gloria, and we've got a pretty unbeatable combination. This is going to get pretty sick pretty quickly. Nice job, team. So, yeah, we're pretty much just going to be using Borg and Gloria for pretty much the rest of our random battles. Yeah, might as well. When we get to the... But when we get to the bosses, uh, we're definitely going to need the rest of our characters for their Mystic Swords. Anyways, um, one thing that's also great about Borgen is he's got 990 magic points, so he's able to use his magic spells for a really long time. And we get the metal. This is the most important part to find in this cave, because we can now make the best shield in the game, combining the metal and the oil. Okay, let's head over this way. And nothing down there, so let's go get the final treasure which will be up here, obviously. And we just got another level for our characters. I think we're at 31 now. Yeah, we're doing really well. We gain, ex we gain experience really quickly uh, at this point of the game. Should we one more? By the way, I've started using the Wind Spell again with Gloria because that's really all the additional damage that we need to support Borgen's White. Um, and that, <coughs> that will deal with all the enemies, so that's awesome. Okay, and we receive another Dark Crystal. That's all we can do here, so let me warp out of this cave. And I will continue with the journey. Alright, and we're out. Now, let's go ahead and uh, take these two items over here to Juba. Found them? Wait. Okay. Little hammer there. And we get the Aegis Shield, the best shield in the game. Not only does it have really high defense, but it also boosts the agility by 5. So we're definitely going to put that on. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, let's see, the challenge. Oh, and it also protects him against all of the status, or all of the elemental ailments, so that's going to be very helpful. All right, now we can sell our old shield. No, I don't need that. So I'll go ahead and sell my X-Plane shield. Cool. Now, I am going to want to mix one thing. I want to make an armlet, because what the armlet will do will defend against uh, death, instant death attacks. So I think I can make a couple of those, or, yeah, make a couple of those, and then... Okay, now I think I'm out of light and dark crystals, so... But that's okay. Uh, now I'm going to definitely put those on some of my characters here. Who's going to need protection against instant death? Probably my mutants. Probably be the best bet. Um, we want to keep them alive. And also boost their defense by one, if you really care. So, yeah, they're, they're going to be able to heal our characters. So, okay. And we're good to go there. Alrighty. Well, let us go ahead and head up to the next cave. Which, if you head just north, there's the second one. So let's go see what's inside. Alright. Same as things before, there's three... There's three more chests in this cave. Let's see if we can find So let's see if we can find them. Alright. This way. And there's one. Light crystal. Let me see. Down here. Nope, nothing. Jump over the chest here and just double check. Oh, there's the second one. And another fire crystal. Make more flare magic if you want. Or fire X magic or light X magic. Whatever you want. Alrighty. And the final chest, which contains a ribbon. Very, very important item. And I'm sure you can figure out why, but. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and stop here for right now because I'm running short on time. Next time, I'm going to make my final preparations, and we're going to be able to enter the final area of the game. But until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.